be talking prom. But the first prom of the year took place tonight in Glendale, and it just might be the most special of them all. Logan Burns tells us why. The music, the dancing, the hair, the makeup. This may look like any other high school prom, but these young adults have one thing in common. They've either been diagnosed with kidney disease, are on dialysis, or have a kidney transplant. The inspiration came from Lori Hartwell, the president of the nonprofit Renal Support Network. I didn't go to my own prom, and I didn't want other teens to miss this coming of age event, and I wanted to come somewhere where they felt loved and accepted, and that people knew their struggles and most importantly, that they could create friendships that last a lifetime. Megna Verma and Jamie Grande met in college and became best friends. Then, a few years later, Megna was diagnosed with kidney disease. That's how it started. She, I needed a kidney and she had one. <laughs> well, I didn't know we were going to be a match, but, you know, I mean, it, it all, you know, came together. And, you know, that's kind of how we, we knew that, yeah, it was meant to be. Now the two feel like they're more than friends, they're family. And now I'm part Colombian, and when she has babies, I'll be one-third their mother. 15-year-old <laughs> Brina Kalin received her kidney from a deceased little girl three years ago. When uh, I actually wanted to have my kidneys removed, I wasn't nervous at all because I knew God was with me the whole time. This is what Brina looked like before her transplant. Her mother says she was near death. If you saw her today, she's exceptionally healthy and happy and doing really well. That transplant was a miracle. The Harry Potter spellbound-themed event also featured actor Jack Black. This year's uh, theme is uh, fantasy magic, so I brought my, my red uh, magic wand for Harry Potter. To be specific, this one is Sirius Black. He even stayed and took pictures and signed autographs. How can you say no to such a great cause? They get to have a prom, otherwise they wouldn't. Doctors say diabetes and high blood pressure are the leading causes of kidney failure in adults. 120,000 people are currently waiting for a life-saving organ. In Glendale, Logan Burns, Fox 11 News.